beautiful people and welcome back to my channel my name is Josephine and on this channel I share my love for beauty fashion and a little bit of lifestyle so if you're not subscribed to my channel what are you waiting for please click the subscribe button before you continue watching this video so for today's video we're going to I'm going to be sharing with you guys five ways you can instantly uplift your mood because you know i know like we are all adults here yeah? adulting is super difficult sorry maybe some people are still watching my videos and they're not adults yet but um life in general can be hard like we have a lot of things we have to worry about especially people like like myself like working is not easy like i get tired of my job almost every time especially when i come back and i feel so exhausted like i just i'm so tired and it's easy to blame yourselves or your situation in that at that point in time but um, I've, I've had like several things that I do to kind of uplift my mood and to kind of help me forget whatever it is I might be going through at a particular time, especially because emotions are emotions, like they last for a few minutes, a few hours. And we should never let them like kind of um, get in the way as much as possible, but it's something that takes practice. I mean, like you have to be able to catch yourself at that point when you're about to blame yourself and then kind of correct it, which is why I'm making this video. I'm going to be telling you five things you can do whenever you catch yourself slipping into that position of like self-doubt and or self-blame or self-sabotage and you're just like okay no I need to stop here and do something that will just change my mood or lead to my mood or make me feel better so that's what this video is about and yeah for the number one thing I think you should do is have a bat like I cannot even begin to um, explain just how much a bath does for me after a long long day at work like when i get back home I, the first thing i do is just to take a hot bath for me i prefer hot if you prefer cold it's fine and when i'm having my bath all, all i can think of or all i imagine is kind of like washing away the whole the stress from the entire day like just imagine yourself letting go and all of that and i really like the scent of my soap if you're someone who likes scents who like you like it's when you perceive something nice you can also use different soaps that can kind of make you feel better you can have like a soap with a really nice scent for when you're stressed and all of that but having a bath is really important just going to the shower and wash away all that stress just imagine yourself letting go of all the stress and especially if it's something that you're worrying about just let it go and trust me you're going to get a solution when you're a bit like calmer and feel refreshed so a bath is something i'll definitely recommend in any situation of stress the second thing i'd like to recommend is something i just got into recently so um recently i made my highest ever purchase of a perfume it cost me quite a lot it was kind of a sacrifice but then like every time i spray that perfume and i'm at work or um you know you, you get busy as the day goes by like you're doing one thing or the other and then maybe i just sit and buy some for some reason i per perceive that perfume on me or someone tells me oh you smell really nice and i like do something like that and i perceive it, it kind of leaves my mood especially when i'm at work and there's so much to do it's just like ah please like <laughs> i need to be over but then when i perceive that scent it's just like okay it's calming it's refreshing it helps me kind of pick up myself and you know get back to work so something you can do is to you know it might be in your bag or something you can just bring out something really nice and spray it. it immediately changes the air around you and you instantly feel better so um having a perfume in your bag or like a small bottle that you can spray from time to time really helps i mean once i spray that i feel refreshed and i'm just like <laughs> i'm back into my element like what do you have for me i'm ready to do it so um the third thing i recommend is like like doing a mini skincare or self-care routine i mean especially during the weekend when we've gone to the we've worked for like one for five days straight i mean like it's easy for you to just be like oh like feel like so tired and just be lazy throughout the day but something that can help you refresh and get feel better about yourself is when you like take care of yourself take care of your skin like do that mini skincare routine just cleanse and exfoliate get rid of all of that stress and all of that those dead from your body it should really really help you 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 would instantly feel better and everything is going to feel like you're going to feel refreshed like once i'm done with my skincare routine i always feel like i can conquer the world <laughs> i just feel that way and 
honestly like once i do my skincare routine in the morning especially when i film my videos i do my skincare routine before i film my videos it kind of gives me like that strength and extra courage and all of that and trust me you kind of forget about all the stress like once you take care of yourself it's like you feel like a brand new person so when you're feeling tired when you're feeling stressed just you know have a good bath cleanse exfoliate take good care of your skin and even the method of cleansing like don't be too harsh like just you know pat yourself in a really nice manner and you're going to absolutely feel good like transfer that self-loving to your body it's how you do every other thing and trust me your mood is going to be instantly like refreshed yeah Another thing you can do when you're feeling stressed is to read a book and not just any book like you have to read something that will really encourage you um, especially what you're going through at the moment so let's say I'm feeling down that I was unable to achieve so so and so I'm going to try to read a book that is going to like let me know that I'm enough I mean there are some times when um, some things are just too much and you can't just achieve them or they won't like, like things don't always go the way you want them to right so you just read a book that would encourage you and make you feel better about yourself and there's nothing wrong with that like i'm not saying that you should um fool yourself into thinking that you're doing the right thing it's just like we get overwhelmed sometimes and it, honestly you just have to it's part of self-love you just have to make yourself feel better and when you feel better then the strength to do better will eventually come and i think that really helps and so lastly i'd like to recommend you getting yourself something like getting yourself a gift um this one is kind of tricky to be honest because in that point at that point in time you can literally go online or buy like over buy so you have to control yourself i'm not saying you should like out of stress go on a shopping spree and all of that trust me it doesn't help because you end up spending more than you're supposed to but just tell yourself that was that one thing that i've been wanting to have i mean and we have several things that we're wanting to have but just buy yourself that one out of all those things you want you definitely feel better like even if you don't have the funds if it's a situation where you can pick it up and pay later or something like that just get yourself something that will instantly boost your mood and just remind yourself that you know, you know what i actually care about you and you know we're doing this life thing together and this is like our first life like you're not going to get it instantly so if there's one thing i've learned in life is that um it doesn't always go the way we want we're not going to always be happy i think once you accept those two things life gets easier it gets a lot easier and yeah these are the five things that i do sometimes most times to kind of help me uplift my mood if you have any other things or any other suggestion you can help us drop it in the comment section um which brings us to the end of this video once again guys once again guys thank you for stopping by my channel if you're not subscribed please click the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so you can know when next i have a new video um thank you for stopping by my channel until when next i have a video i'll see you guys bye